Hey guys, so my friend Dex showed me this earlier. This is a build by Dark Dodo. I thought they went extinct. So anyway, this is a very simple trick using the new thruster with the heat fan. So you know, when your ship is thrusting, you can see that the heat fan glows behind the thruster. And you can make it, you know, whatever color that you want, like blue for example. That looks more like pink actually. Here's my heat fan settings, by the way. So, you know, that's pretty cool. But I also came up with another uh, similar design trick here. So, instead of using a heat fan, I use an inset LCD panel with an event controller. So that when I trust the ship, well, you guys can see there. That's a lot more, you know, vibrant compared to the heat fan. And when the ship stops moving, I guess I set up the event controller wrong. It keeps turning back on. I can fix that. There we go. It's fixed now. <laughs> so basically, I use the event controller to detect the thrust level from the thrusters. And whenever the thrust level exceeds a certain point, then the LCD panel will turn on. And when the thrust level go below that point, then the LCD panel will turn off. Here's my uh, event controller settings, by the way. It's set to detect thrust under event equal or greater than on the condition, then 5% on the threshold, then, well, under the blocks, you just add the blocks that you want to add for the thrusters that you want to detect using the event controller. But yeah, obviously it's kind of expensive on PC, but you know, that's something that's possible to do now with the new uh, atmospheric thruster and the inset LCD panel. Hmm, you can also, you know, use images, I guess, on the LCD panel. There you go. What about script? Uh, artificial horizon? Well, I mean, I don't think that's gonna be useful, but you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, that's how you can get, you know, this cool thruster effects using the new atmospheric thruster and the inset LCD panel or heat fan on Space Engineers.